The American Express Platinum credit card, it's pretty phenomenal. It's pretty great. I really love it. But there's a horror story I got to share, like a story time where a personal experience that happened to me when I was flying from Dallas to Atlanta, it was something that I just didn't know existed as a part of a non-benefit of this card. So I checked in for my flight the previous night, so I thought. And the next day, I was in TSA, the security line, and when I went there to show my boarding pass, I opened up the mobile app, the airlines app, and it, it just wasn't shown, like the QR code to check in. And it said, hey, it's too late to check in, please see the agent at the counter, something to that effect. So I get out of the line and mind you, my flight's at 8.30 and I get to the counter at 8.15 a.m. I speak to the agent, I tell her, hey, you know, this is what's going on, et cetera. And you know, fast forward, she's basically like, yeah, it's gonna be too late to check in. It's 15 minutes to your flight, it's not gonna happen. So I'm like, okay, fine. I come to peace with that, no worries. And the next step is, okay, for free, quote unquote, I'll be placed on the next flight and specifically on standby. So I say, okay, fine, when's the next flight? Not an issue. So it's around like four hours later, towards like 12.30, 12.40. Not an issue, I was like, all right, got some time, I'll still go past security, uh, you know, visit a lounge basically, catch up on some pending tasks. And with the Amex Platinum specific credit card, you get Centurion lounge access as well as other lounge accesses. And I was really looking forward to getting into the lounge, getting some good grub, catching up on some work, et cetera. And specifically speaking, I was at the DFW airport, Dallas-Fort Worth, on the way to Atlanta. So what happened is, I basically got through security, I went all the way to the Amex Centurion Lounge, and when I went there, I said, hey, you know, how's it going? I'm here to check in, and you know, all those good things. And there's a specific rule where you can't get into a lounge three hours prior to your departure. Now, I'm aware of this, and it's not too strict, depending on who you're talking to in the situation, but the point is, it was like, just say, three and a half hours before my flight. But that wasn't the issue. The issue wasn't the fact that it was more than three hours that I wasn't able to get in. It was due to the fact that I was on standby. And the rule that I just wasn't aware about was that you need to have a confirmed seat on the plane or the flight that you're taking in order to actually get into the lounge. Now, mind you, I asked, hey, you know, do you have any coupons, any kind of, you know, around the bush kind of ways for me to get in. You know, what about just a freebie? What about, you know, some type of way can I just get in? And it was basically a hard no is and was the clear answer. Now, luckily I have other credit cards to get into other lounges and a part of the Amex Platinum's benefits, you also have Priority Pass, where basically you have a lounge network of 1400 plus lounges worldwide where you can get into. So I thought, okay, if I can't get into the Centurion Lounge, at least I can get into one of these other lounges. But this whole situation was really a big, maybe, I don't know, punch in the gut, slap in the face, whatever way you want to put in it. And the point is, if I knew this rule in advance, it's not that big of a deal. But just given the whole scenario and kind of the pre predecessor, if that's the word, or the pre previous scenario, it was just this whole build up into, okay, hey, it's not happening. And it just wasn't the best experience. So fast forward, luckily I have the Capital One Venture X credit card, which they have a lounge called, basically the Capital One Lounge at the DFW airport. And I went there, I was able to get in, no worries. Spent my time there, not an issue. Fast forward, you know, get onto my flight and that's that.